Hello to my Libras. Libras, let's get into it. Happy first quarter moon, Libras. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. The moon is in moving from Cancer into Leo. I'm going to give you the question for the moon in Leo, Libras. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity. Um, and yeah, all right. Okay, here we have the Seven of Wands, Libra. We have the uh, Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Wands here. We have the Queen of Wands here. We have the Chariot card. Source is actually rewarding you for, you know, just your, um, just for taking the high road, you know. Source is actually uh, rewarding you for your efforts. So I'm seeing victory here against the fire energy aries leo or sagittarius here we have the temperance card here because you you are you know seeking some kind of harmony you know and some kind of resolution of some kind of conflict some people are just they stay in fight mode all the time and so source is saying and it could be a sagittarius and so source is saying to you you is some kind of you know like i said you desire peace harmony balance and somebody just desires some kind of just like i said they just at war with themselves whoever it is but um you can sit yourself comfortably on your throne adjust your crown um and remain in good spirits high vibrating spirits you know some people just are at war with themselves here we have sun card here we have the wisdom card seven of swords three of pentacles two of pentacles and two of wands yeah you can sit yourself comfortably on your, your throne. Um, here we have the sun card. Yeah, when you're dealing with some energies who um, who are imbalanced, right? They they have this fear of change. You're dealing with some energies who have this fear of change, right? Source is saying, you know, change of whatever. Whatever, they're either being bullied or around very aggressive energies and they're just like too afraid to make some kind of change your prayer is actually for them is um is actually going to be rewarded you know you're just praying for them somebody could have and it's also for somebody somebody's son you you can be like a guardian angel for somebody you, you could have a son you know somebody could have an adult son that you don't really know which direction to take and sources say i'm gonna I'm reward you for praying for them right here we have the wisdom card. You wise enough to know to pray for somebody. So you can feel a little imbalanced about that, you know, um, Libra. And again, I'm talking to you wherever Libra is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Um, and so everything is lining up perfectly, you know, for you. I feel like somebody may have somebody in their life that may feel like they're left out of some things, having some possibly to do with music in some way, shape, form, or fashion. When in actuality, everything is lining up perfectly, right? So while in the meantime, for you, source is saying for you, it's time for you to develop a strategy for you to move on with your life because you have a whole lot of opportunities coming your way, right? A whole lot of opportunities coming your way. So you can almost look at it as like parallel universes, right? So you're praying for other people, you know, that somebody's son, you're praying, you're, you are praying, somebody has a son that you're praying for. Um, that could be somehow connected to music in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That they're thinking about, you know, doing something that's going to, you know, gain, uh, you know, another for, stream of income for them. That's going to help them earn some more money, you know, um, some more money. And then for you, I see for you, there's just a balance of, um, Source wants you to have a healthy work-life balance because you desire teamwork. You desire some kind of teamwork, you know, in your life. Um, that's coming your way. And so source is saying to you develop to also take some time to develop your skill set as well. You know, so you're not necessarily worried about, you know, anybody else who has an imbalance. So it's you and somebody else where you and somebody are balancing out, like trying to help have a healthy work life balance. The cool thing about the moon being in cancer this past weekend is that everybody got an opportunity, as far as adults, you know, are concerned, to learn how to nurture or mother themselves, right? By pulling your birth chart, finding out what your moon sign is, and learning how to pour into yourselves. Water, Cancer is a water sign. This is Cancer's card here, and this is why you're being rewarded. Is um, 
taking the time to nurture yourself and let's say for instance you have siblings let's say for instance uh your let's say for instance your moon sign is cancer let's say for that for even my cross watchers let's say your moon sign is cancer and you're a homebody right and so you may have felt like okay you want to just kind of stay in the house and just kind of be in your crab shell and just kind of decorate your house and do some things deep cleaning or whatever just kind of around the house to do things to nurture you but other people wanted to kind of sort of be out you know around other people you were uh, making sure people knew that you were okay being in the house while you were also possibly pulling other people's birth charts sending information to them about how to nurture their spirit those kind of things too so that may have satisfied you all um the point is knowing how to mother yourself so that you know um when you go back to work this week if you're at, i don't know when you what time you're gonna watch this video but whenever you watch the video when you're in work this week and you have colleagues who may be still kind of trying to come down off some emotional high or you know, confusion about this past weekend, which was, you know, could have been stressful for some people. Um, you know exactly how to, you know, kind of sort of go in and say, okay, you know, maybe give them some information about how to pour into themselves, you know, with some of your colleagues, which may actually be a hit for some people who's like, oh, you know, you know, your moon sign is kind of how you nurture yourself, that kind of thing, De depending on what kind of relationship you have with people, just to kind of balance some things out. You never know. You just never know. Just knowledge is power. Some people believe in it. Some people don't. But at least you would have, you know, whoever you're praying for, they may be open to it. If they not, at least you led them to water. You can't force somebody to drink it. That's that's it, really. That's what I'm saying in your cards. So you're moving forward. So we have seven, eight. So sources get ready to make sure you're booked and busy and not burdened at all. Um, and um, here's a devil card, too. So that you're not chained, you're not chained to any fear and doubt about moving on with your life. And I'm saying high priestess energy here, right? So you're looking at the light and dark side of things, you know, in your life. Are you slowing down, taking the time to just look at everything, you know, that's connected to your life? And here we have the uh, seven of cups. There's some energies, while all of this is going on, Libra, there's some energies that feel like you're a snake. Or you may feel like they're a snake, like, but nevertheless, there are definitely energies that have ideas about you. You got to get delivered from all of that. And part of it is, part of it is, and it could be a fire energy. It could be a Leo. It could also be involved. Um, yeah. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's all this fire energy up here. Uh, it could have some kind of ideas about you. you could feel like you're a snake. You could have feel like they're a snake. Whatever the situation is. Sources say, let that situation take care of itself. A lot of it has a whole lot to do with the fact that Pluto is retrograde. And Pluto is an obsessive planet. And so if people are obsessed with your metamorphosis and your growth and your power, taking your power back and your wisdom and all of this other stuff, so it has nothing to do with you. You're only focused on what's going on in your life for right now. And right now, you're praying for the people that made it to the other side with you. The end, okay? You're praying that, you know, that they gain wisdom and knowledge as well. And that they have a healthy work-life balance themselves. Whoever's calling you a snake or saying you got away with something, you just need to be more strategic and aware. But the more knowledgeable, the more you empower other people with knowledge, the more you can start focusing on making sure you don't miss out on any venomous snakes around you if that makes any sense the more you feel like you don't you know you're not falling in a snake pit here we have the uh eight of swords the six of swords the three of swords the knight of swords here we have the queen of cups and also the five of cups so yeah here we have the eight of swords here we also have the six of swords and also the three of swords and then also the uh the uh knight of swords here um yeah so two situations in particular for you have been a nightmare and sources saying it's just like i said before your hashtag winning and like i said there's some energies that feel like you got away with some stuff but it's two types of situations in particular so it's just saying it's time to put a manhole cover over the past and a lot of it is because you took the high road that's really what it boils down to is that your heart was in the right place you prayed to for to source. You tapped in. You did your prayer, meditation, all of those things, 
and you start to, you learn how to pour into yourself. So somebody's faith, somebody's prayer life has definitely increased. Your faith has become a lot stronger. And, um, and, and that's the, that's kind of what, you know, some people feel like, Oh, you know, people make up all kinds of excuse when they start. I think you de you're dealing with some energies that are like enslaved to some kind of obsession, lust, or even some kind of restrictions. They don't have anything to do with you. They don't have anything to do with you. So whoever made it to the other side with you, that's all. That's what you who you praying for. You know, you're helping them to um, balance out a work life balance. You know, have a healthy work life balance and increase their. Um, increase their skill set and learn how to manifest you know the th the lifestyle that they want i see you being booked and busy not burdened at all here's the knight of pentacles the magician card the death card the empress card here we also have the wheel of fortune yep so again you're going to feel very fortunate you're going to feel very very fortunate you know during this cycle um that you are t that you've learned how to take your power back through just the power of prayer really you know, and not operating in fear. Because, of course, you got the devil card and the major arcana. And the devil card symbolizes fear, uncertainty, doubt. You know, it's just too many demons to name. But here's the empress card. The abundance and potential fulfilled. And you're not allowing anything to um, to limit your abundance. Not when you can pray about it. The devil creates this false sense of fear. Like you fear like, oh, you know, you know, someone that I love or somebody who's made it to the other side, you know, something really bad is going to happen to them. So it says, just pray for them. Right. And that's what somebody could have been thinking. Something really bad is going to happen to somebody I love. And so, so it's the same, but you're wise enough to know that prayer does change things. Right. So that's how you're going to take your power back. So that's the initiator. You initiated some things very creative, very logical and got away from the confusion and disorganized mind. Right that disorganized way of thinking so you can get back to being booked and busy and not burdened at all. This is right here, Knight of Pentacles. And so in a lot of ways, work saved you. You know, you, you learn how to pray, give it directly to source and get right on back to work, right? While you were nurturing yourselves, right? While you found out what your Chiron is and started that healing process on your Chiron. So you did, you're doing the work and you're teaching other people how to do the work as well when they're in situations where they feel like, you know, they are, um, when they feel like they are, um, you know, when they feel like they are overwhelmed or, you know, have a lot of anxiety or being bullied or, you know, people are trying to put spells on them or people are being aggressive around them or, you know, causing them to feel, you know, disorganized in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So you just don't know what some of your colleagues and what other people who have made it to the other side with you are dealing with. And they may not feel, they may not even believe, like religiously, they may not even believe in moon sign and that kind of stuff. And you sharing information because sources are saying, hey, just bringing up a casual conversation about pulling a birth chart and find out what the moon sign is or you pulling it out and just it just just all it, you're doing some of the things that help people to you know you're doing things for people that they like oh wow that's just what i needed you like you just seem to just know because you know what their moon sign is you know you know and um and so i have a whole birth chart series on my second channel it's called the knowledge channel the link is below but um yeah that, those are some of the things that you can do to help people out of their nightmare situation here's the nine of swords yeah out of their nightmare situation just like you learn how to help yourself out of your nightmare situation so we got seven seven here nine nine so it's like you and somebody needs to create some kind of a strategy out of nightmare situations right so you're helping somebody out and that's going to be very very soon very very soon so knight of pentacles here again just working hard to get out of nightmare situations. So it's you and somebody, whoever it is, it's you and somebody just working hard to get out of nightmare situations. And everything is lining up perfectly. Everything is just lining up perfectly. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on. Ace of Wands here. Third eye wide open. You know, third eye is wide open about some things. Seven, yeah. Yeah, hangman. Yeah, hangman. 
again hang in there you know with yourself whatever the situation is some things are some things are working out here's a temperance card again you got some guardian angels that's coming through you know because somebody um you know you got loved ones on the other side that's like they know that you want some kind of resolution of some conflict you want harmonious relationships in your life you desire teamwork and there's some energies that's doing the most so it's gonna be two situations you know very soon that's gonna feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders but first you need to resolve within yourself it's not your responsibility to carry people's insecurity and their misery on your shoulders that's what you're gonna have to first misery loves company that's what you somebody's dealing with some people who are just flat out miserable there it is so congratulations to somebody somebody's going to social say you're gonna have to get away from people like that you cannot be indecisive about it at all well i'm just trying to be fair because they've gone through so much that's gonna have to go away rose colored glasses are over some people are just they just they that's how they some people thrive and some you go it, as the most fair-minded sign in the zodiac you're gonna have to get away from that with the quickness or you're going to keep throwing yourselves in these karmic cycles of people that you're going to keep feeling well my head and heart are at war with each other they've been through so much they've been burned a lot of these people stay in these relationships because that's the that's what they feel like that's what just that's what motivates them always being in some kind of fire situation where there's some kind of friction going on and and you move from your heart chakra some people they live for this i gotta ex the only way i feel like i've accomplished something if i extinguish somebody else's fire that is not how you operate so you those are the energies you need to steer clear of so somebody will learn somebody will learn so yeah but congratulations to you sources making sure that you're winning something something that you're winning yep something that you're winning so prayer is uh prayer is key here prayer is key prayer is definitely key here all right let's see here we have work through your fears that's right work through your fears so scorpio is ruled by you know because it, it would be like i said if something feels like a scorpion sting you know to you it just it just feels like um it's so unhealthy for somebody. It just makes you sick to your stomach just to think about it. I am wise. Something about the whole situation makes you sick to your stomach that you just, you feel like you want to just release it, right? Some, and that's exactly what Source wants you to do, to go through a metamorphosis and release it. But you have to do the release first. So Scorpio is a water sign. And again, after a situation is done, you and somebody are going to be like, you know what? We really need to redefine quality of relationships instead of quantity. It's not about uh, the amount of people that you're around. It's quality of relationships. Listening to your intuition. All of this is water. Feelings. You know, um, uh, who you're dating. All of this. Somebody's going to be really so in tune with something. There won't be no doubt about you know, if somebody is jealous and you pick up on somebody that's jealous, uh-uh, you got to get away from that. Channeling, that's right. Somebody will be able to tune into somebody's emotional channel and be like, oh my God, that's, that person has a spirit of jealousy, a spirit of envy, you know, spirit of this, spirit of that. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Somebody's going to learn how to tap into, you know, these things and just... Hey, I need to be on a different frequency, you know, all together. So all of this indecisiveness and I'm not really sure. And all of this fire and air is nothing. And so somebody is learning about very, um, you know, very um, obsessed energies. Obsession is not healthy because it's a fixation. Like somebody has a fixation on you, right? And so, um, yeah. Make a list of pros and cons. More money is coming your way. Much better lies ahead. Love up on yourself more. It's not as deep as you think. Get some fresh air. New love awaits. Listen to your intuition. Treat yourself to a spa day. Leave them behind. Because something was trying to box in your fire. Journal your journey and speak something into existence. You have the gift of clear audience. That's clear listening. 
drink more water as a form of self-care. Somebody's plan to disrupt your money backfire, and so be patient. The answers are coming. Yep, be patient. The answers are coming. Yep, the answers are coming. Yeah, so when we say something is not as deep as you think, you, like I said, you got ans you got uh, you got angels that's watching. So you may be just thinking in terms of just like what you can see with your natural eyes. So that's why for somebody, it may seem like it's more intense. Like I got to do something. I got to do this. Just pray. Just pray. Because your prayers are reaching the energies it's supposed to reach. The energies that's on that same channel with you that's tapped into where you are. They hear you. 999, I am unique. Thank the past for your lesson and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Questions for the moon and Leo. For those of you all who like the questions. First question is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? Second question is, do how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your be your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I'm here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. That's it. Take action towards the things that matter. That is what I have for you. Hopefully those questions have been helpful and I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.